All right, guys, Jake Epstein here. Got the swing loaded in and want to go over a couple things. The main thing I'm seeing is that we're swinging our upper body before our lower body kicks in. Okay, that's kind of the big thing. And I'm not sure if you're hitting off a machine here, but a lot of times that's what causes it. It's almost like we lift our foot as part of the swing. So notice as you lift your foot and then your foot starts going down, I want you to watch your hands and upper body here start to go. So this is your, I don't know, toe touch, like the ball of your foot impacts the ground right around here. Okay, now in a perfect world, this knob should be in front of this back elbow and this back shoulder should be higher than the front shoulder. Okay, so if we watch this player here, Kyle Seeger, he's going to step forward, take a look at where the knob is and where the back elbow is. Okay, these are all things we're going to work on here with your, your plan. And as he steps and then touches the ground with the ball of his foot, notice the difference in his upper body. Okay, so the glaring differences being knob, elbow, front shoulder, okay, while our front foot hits the ground. So secondary, make sure this back foot is square, okay, make sure it's never pointing towards the catcher. You can see this player might even be coming in with the back foot, you know, pinching in, that's okay too. Um, so I want to watch the next thing. So this is called bat drag right here. That's that's going to be our first, that's what we're going to attack first. That's most every kid, I would say 90 to 95% of them under the age of 14 have that move. Okay. So we are definitely going to get rid of that first as much as we can. You actually do a, you know, not too bad of a job here. If I measure these elbows here at heel plant, okay, this angle here between your elbows should be like 100 degrees when you start to rotate. Okay, you can see you're at 55. If I go one more, I don't think it gets worse. I think it just starts off in a bad position. So if I take this player to about that same position as he turns his chest, you can see he's at 114. So, uh, you know, 90 at the minimum, you know, 125 at the maximum is kind of what we're looking for. Usually the one, 115, that's, that's absolutely perfect. So this is about the same part of the swing here. And what I mean by that is his chest is starting to face his front foot. And your chest is starting to face your front foot. So the difference is, see how his hands are inside his back shoulder? Okay, they're closer to his armpit. Your hands are still back here. Secondly, your bat is kind of laid off this way, and I'd like to have it more vertical like he is. Okay, so it's all related. This is, uh, you know, the same drill is going to fix all of that. In As we continue here, I want you to watch how he pulls the knob forward, and the bat kind of comes, whoops, the bat comes down, and it almost looks like it slices the trap muscle, which is right on top. That's what we're going to spend a lot of time in this position where the bat's going to be on top of your shoulder, neck area, and the knob's going to be pulling in front of your body, okay? So that's really the main thing I want to attack here early with your first few weeks is going to be that move with the upper body, okay? Not too concerned with the legs. I think your legs will work once we fix the upper body. The only thing I see with your legs is you kind of squish the bug. See how you move backwards, as you hit, a lot of that has to do with um, having too much weight on your back foot because your front shoulder's up. When your front shoulder lifts, kind of puts the weight here, so it makes it hard for the back foot to come forward. So that's why it spins backward. If you look at this player, because his front shoulder's down, it's gonna make it easier for his, again, I'm looking right in here, it's gonna be easy for his back foot to move forward into the ball. Notice when he makes contact, his back leg, his back heel, his back hip, his right arm, everything moves into the ball at contact with you. As you come through here, you can see how your back leg moves backwards. Your head moves backwards. Everything moves backwards. Okay, we're losing a ton of power here. So good news is we can fix all of that. And when we do, it's going to give you so much more consistency and power. You can see your bat does something kind of funny at contact. I'm not sure if you've noticed that. When you're small and you don't get everything behind the ball, Sometimes your barrel will drop right at contact, or sometimes it'll roll and go straight up and you'll end up topping it, okay? Those kind of things will all be fixed. It's funny, if you look at this position, it kind of looks pretty good. It looks very similar to the guy on the right, but it's the journey we take to get there that's going to make us more efficient, okay? So recapping, we're going to fix this bad drag first. 
that's going to be the big goal here for the next couple months. Back foot, that's going to be something that's a lot easier to work on, and it's going to be much easier once we get your shoulders in place. If you have questions, let me know. Look forward to seeing your progress here after the next couple weeks.